Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on our behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with new video. This video is all about a very important CMS named as ENS Vision for PC. And in this video, we are going to describe you that what is ENS Vision for PC, what are its features and functions, what are its minimum system requirement, and how you get the file, how you install the file, and how you configure the software after successful installation to make the camera live and able to access all its feature that we are discussing later in this video. So keep watching till end. Please like share our video and subscribe to our channel and please press the bell icon so that you can get all the upcoming notifications of, of, of all the videos, upcoming videos. So keep watching. Now the question arises, what is ENS vision for PC? Basically, it is a CMS and it is used to control as well as connect the CCTV camera on PC. This is a software program for monitoring the CCTV cameras on a laptop screen. It is also used to monitor the cameras on the remote location over the internet. And by using this software, you are able to access many features with and basically an ENS vision app is like smart and intelligent it can sense motion and audio it can hint you many suspicious activities this app is from the parent company ENS security it is an American company that was instituted in 2020, 2010 means 2010 so now we are discussing about feature and function of ENS vision for PC so it relays live video there is no time lag it can relay videos in many streams the app supports sensors and you can see the multiple channel at a time to watch the recording of the cameras to take the snapshot of the video you control the pixel camera to save the live view of the camera you can adjust the image parameter like brightness etc you can take a backup of the recorded videos you can adjust the streaming according to the network bandwidth you can control the quality of the camera, quality of the video recording and many more like log search etc. And now I will tell you its minimum system requirement. You should have at least Windows 7, 8, 10 or even 11 but I don't recommend Windows 7 because it is discontinued by Microsoft. And you should have Core i5 processor or equivalent, pro pro or equivalent processor in other companies. You should have 4 GB of RAM and at least 500 MB of free space on your hard drive. Why this is 500 MB? Because this software installation don't take too much, too much space of your hard drive. But when you see the live video, you may want to record on your PC. You may want to store, take snapshot on 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 your P on PC. So that's for for that function, you should have at least 500 MB free space on your hard drive. Now we'll tell you that how you get the file, how you install the file, how you configure the. Uh, software to make the camera live and able to access all its features that we are discussing late, earlier in this video. So for this you should open your browser. In my case I am using Google Chrome so just, just I just open my Google Chrome and Google for ENS Vision ENS Vision for PC and hit enter on the top of the list, I found a website which is my favorite one because you get all the software, all the information of CCTV in one place. So just click on this website and scroll down a little. You find a software for Windows and Mac. So I am using Windows, so I definitely go for the Windows. Just click on the Windows. And click download and now click download anyway now let the download to be finished when after that will tell you how you installed and how you configure
now it is downloaded just click on this show in folder option when you click on this it will redirect you to page where your file is downloaded here is your downloaded file just right click on the downloaded, downloaded file and click extract when you do this you get the same folder name as and the same as file name so just open the folder and click here is your application file or a installer file just right click on the application file and click as run as administrator and click yes now whatever you want it's that I don't want topology I don't want the data retrieval reports I don't want emap I don't want time attendance report so I just only want video and access control so I take only this feature because my video is specifically for the software and you may if you uh, and this video is totally for education and training purpose if you want any more option you, you can choose according to your uh, choice like in right now AI is trending so you can choose this so just click on install after that when you click install is start vcr redis 2008.exe it is installing and after is, is, is after this installation is complete then it is installed the main component of the software so let them to be finished now it is installed its basic configuration now the software is installed completed and you get the notification of installation completed here you it's option at create desktop icon so tick this because if you don't tick this it, it don't create a desktop icon and if you tick launch client then it will automatically open the software so just click finish and it will automatically open the software So this is the first interface of the software. So what you should do, you should do ask for the super username. So just take your super username and it asks for password. Please note that password is alphanumeric. So just put that password. And just click auto login. When you click on auto login, you don't want to enter a password again and again. And you don't want to log in again and again. So just click login. Here it asks for the question. You can choose any any. So my video is totally for training purpose. So I did I take anything, but you can choose according to your whatever you it suit you best. Just click login. Now click login. When you do this, this is the interface of the software. It gives you ins instruction. So just click. So this is the main view of the software and the first thing you should do you should find the option device management so here it is device management just click on this when you click on this you find the two option online devices and this add just click on online devices when you do this if your device and your pc is on the same network then it will edit it automatically like this in my case okay so my nvr and my software both my PC both are going to same networks that is come automatically so just click on this and click add and here you see that it open as new screen when it you can put any device name here like this and here you see that it asks you for ask for username so just put a username and here it asks for a password so just put a password here Please note that this is your port and username and password. These all are of device. This is the device you are adding. In my case, I am using NVR. So this is the username and password and port number of NVR. And click add. Now it's come online, you see. You see that firmware version is upgradable. So what should you do after that? Just click on this and click on the main view when you click on the main view 
here you test the y just click on this and just double click on this here you find that your camera is live thank you for watching this video have a nice day